I'm here to kind of help paint their picture. Yeah, no, nobody really lays it out like Jamil. Um, there's no option B. I'm Jamel Kimbrough. I'm a music producer, gospel music producer. Sometimes we do things and we don't really know if that's right, you know, but if I could share something with you about my process, maybe you can say, oh, okay, I I'll do that. In this class, I want to be able to show you what it takes to complete a record. Um, from its conceptual state, from the first conversation of, hey, can you work on my record? I'm gonna show you ways that I communicate with the artist initially. Is there a band? Do I need to outsource my band? All the way down to finally getting to the stage where we're tracking lead vocals. I'm just gonna play the aux hymns. It's big. It's taking up every frequency there is. Look at my analyzer. Look at all the space that it's, it's, it's taking up. Because if it was only one instrument, it wouldn't grab all of these frequencies. If it was just one choice of uh, aux instruments, it would not get the, all this frequency range. It's not one instrument that you can pick will cover all of this. Sorry. So that means you got to go back and add other ones that kind of make up the difference. You know, the key to all of this is application. You have to apply this. So you just getting it in your heart is one thing. Getting it in your head is another thing. What didn't work, what may work, try it. I don't know, it may work for you. But it's all worth a try.